So, you know, again, I just want people to rest in the promise of God and his finished redemptive work and just trust that God's got this. You know, just trust him. And through that faith and turning from your dead works, if you want to turn, if you want to repent from something, repent from your dead works and turn towards God through faith in Jesus Christ. That's how to receive the forgiveness of sins and life eternal. That's how to be passed from death into life, uh, to receive that spiritual regeneration, to be baptized by the Spirit, to be immersed by the Spirit into the body of Christ. Um, you know, and so that's why, again, you know, I come against this repent of your sins false gospel because it does nothing but turn people to looking at themselves, judging themselves based on other people's actions, um, you know, which leads to iniquity all the way around. Um, you know, living in iniquity is trusting in your works, which are unequal to God's. Um, you know, to be forgiven of iniquities is to realize that you're a sinner, your works don't measure up, and you turn from those dead works and to faith towards God through the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ. Uh, so I just want people to rest in that. You know, there's so many people that think that they have to actively confess their sins and repent of their sins and um, that that's part of salvation, you know, that this, this lifetime process, this grueling process that, you know, you must persevere to the end. Um, you know, it's almost like they try to live this righteous life and then if they backslide or, you know, commit this sin, then they pray, please forgive me my sins so I can have eternal life. And then they think they've hit the reset button. Uh, because they've repented of that sin um, or they've confessed that sin. So now they get to continue to keep their salvation because of their turning from sin or confessing that sin. Um, but, you know, that is, again, looking at what you're doing instead of what Christ has done. You know, for salvation, we shouldn't be praying to God, confessing our sins and say, please forgive me of my sins for salvation. We should say, Lord, thank you for forgiving me of my sins, you know, um, for salvation. And, you know, this reset button that people keep hitting, you know, first of all, you got to hit the power button. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people that are hitting this reset button and the power's off. You know, because they haven't trusted the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, which is the power of God unto salvation. So that's the power. You gotta hit that power button. You know, hear the gospel, trust it, believe it, receive it, 